eat salarat Christian or Christmas chicken as a Muslim? I'm asking because this conversation started on Twitter during the holidays, right? And we uh, talked about it some more on the Big Three on Monday. Because some Christians were rejecting food that their Muslim friends and neighbors gave them during Salah. I was shocked, my guy, because the one they give me, oh, I chop them. Oh, I chop them well, you know? In fact, I was even looking for more. Now, here's our big hard fact for today. On Eid Adha, Muslims celebrate God providing a ram for Ibrahim's sacrifice in the Quran. He's the same as Abraham in the Bible. That's the big hard fact for me. Because Muslims are celebrating the same story that I was taught in Sunday school. About God telling Abraham to sacrifice his son, but giving him a ram at the dying minute. It's the same story. The only disagreement is which son. But that's by the way. The point is... Muslims and Christians share this heritage. And here in Nigeria, here in Lagos, we live side by side. And my neighbors are celebrating and they give me ram, they give me rice. But apparently, some people reject it or they accept it but throw it away when the neighbors have left the house. So we talked about that on Monday. I told you about somebody who talked about it on Twitter, how her mother received um, ram that has already been fried from their neighbor. And then she fried it again with anointing oil before her family ate it. I told you about the uh, family that somebody visited and uh, a Muslim neighbor came and gave them ram. And their mother told them to throw it away. And she begged them to please give it to her instead. And because of that, we started to talk, right? And you had a lot to say. There wasn't enough time on the big three on Monday. So I told you, you know what? Let's talk about it today. So first things first, tell me about your salah. If you're a Muslim, did you share food with your Christian friends and your Christian neighbors? How did they receive it? If you are a Christian, did your Muslim friends or neighbors give you food? When they did, what did you do? I'm not going to judge you, honestly. I just want to hear the the reason behind it. I don't I just I want to understand the psychology. You don't say, you know, those of us we you know, we don't understand these things. So help me to understand this thing. Understand? <laughs> Are you like me and did you thank your neighbors and ate the food they gave you and overstuffed yourself and you were looking for more like a thief? Or did you reject it? Or did you accept it but you threw it away when your neighbors left? Franklin is on the line. Hello Franklin, thank you for calling. Thank you, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Um, okay, so I'm a Christian. Um, but I was I was born in Lagos. I grew up in the north. Okay. And then um, I, I, I can imagine you telling me not to eat um, the salad ram. Hmm. I can just imagine. In fact, on the salad day, hmm. I remember I had to visit a Muslim friend of mine, a hmm. colleague, actually. Mm-hmm. And trust me, it was... It was the best thing I've had in a very long time. Hmm. Um, so I also have a mom. Uh, my mom um, would not eat the ram. Hmm. And, you know, each time we have our neighbors bring um, um, salad ram to us, hmm. my mom would say, no, um, they, they did a lot of the incantation or ritual. And I would tell her, mom, did they do the ritual on your behalf? Whatever ritual they are having, that's their business. Mine, I'm eating the ram. And... Come to think about it, you go to the, um, you also go to the market. Mm. These guys kill this ram even at the market, mm-hmm. and they also make their prayer because before a house man kills um, um, any, any living thing, mm-hmm. yes, they, they they make that prayer. Mm-hmm. They, they say the prayer, mm-hmm. and then before the slaughter, mm-hmm. and then you go to the market with your hard earned money, and you see you buy the same ram, or you and buy then, suya, yes, you buy suya, mm-hmm. and you don't know what has happened there, and then but you eat it. Mm. And then when it comes to the time for me to enjoy, you come to tell me or give me the salmon of me not eating it. Mm. I'm wondering. Mm. I had a good time. In fact, the six years I spent in the north, mm-hmm. in Katsina precisely, mm-hmm. was fantastic for me. Okay. So, Franklin, yeah. thank, thank you for calling. I appreciate you calling me. 99.3. Um, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Sandra. What's your name? 
My name is Moses from Lekki. Moses, they, how was your salah? Yeah, I'm not a Muslim. My mom is. Okay. For me, I'm not a Muslim. Mm. But the fact is that there's something called hypocrite. You see, first, what is salah? Me, as a Christian that I am, which I know what I do, even the salah period, the Muslim that I have that knows me, hmm. will not even offer me because they know my stance. When it comes to even the Christmas, the Christian will not offer me because they know my stance. Okay. As a Christian, you have to have your stand, and people will know you, know you for your stand. You will salah me totally. It goes against Christianity. How? Jesus Christ has come to die for all. Why the celebration that David, I mean, um, Abraham did is what they are still doing till now, which has died off. And one does not need to celebrate such anymore because Jesus Christ's blood is more than it. So I don't know. Many people call themselves Christian, but the truth is that they know nothing. I'm not insulting anybody, Mm. but anybody that knows his Bible that calls himself Christian, Mm. she knows his stand. Peter said, I go to... Ah, okay, Leo. I think uh, Christ turned off that call. We've got Suleiman on the line. Hello, Suleiman. Hello, Sandra, good evening. Good evening, thanks for calling. Thank you very much. Suleiman from Papa. Yes, Sandra, Mm? Sandra, you see... You see, in both sides, either Christian or Muslim, mm. you see, from the parents, mm. you know, the way they brainwash their kids, their you know, mm. their children right from the beginning, you know, mm. just like you, not marrying Christian or not marrying Muslim, you know, it's from the parents, you have been on and on and all this religion fanatism. Mm. That's what I'm telling you, Sandra. Mm. The religion in Nigeria, 80% of the religion in Nigeria is scam. Mm. I'm sorry to say, I'm telling you. Other Christianity or Islam, I don't know. I don't know where we are going. I don't know. So, have you have you experienced Muslims rejecting uh, Christmas? Of course, I'm a Muslim now. Mm. And, uh, there's nothing to hide there. Mm. It's both sides. I'm telling you, it's both sides. They, they did it. It's both sides. What's the reason? It's, What's the reason I don't that? Know, it's fanaticism now. They just preach, they just turn the the, the 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 Bible upside down, turn the Quran upside down. That's that, that's the way they. Use. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I don't. It's always true. Like we have traveled, I'm a civil servant. Okay. I travel all over. I travel all over. I share different cultures, you know. Okay. I've told my kids and tell them that, look, my friend, anywhere you find love, mm. just come to me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the blessing for you. Forget that. But don't you ever discriminate whether this one is a Christian or a Muslim. Oh. If, you, if, you, if you are in love with a Muslim or a Christian or whoever, throw it. go for me, throw it. Don't you ever discriminate. This is nonsense. Where are we going? Where are, where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going? And he will say, we are praying for this country to be, to, be, to, to be okay for us, for both of us. Sandra, thank you for this topic. But thank you very much. Sandra. Thank you so much for calling us. 0700-993-993-993. Are you a Christian? Did your Muslim friends and neighbors give you food? What did you do with the food? Did you, like me, thank them? And after they left, you ate it and overstuffed yourself. Or did you reject it? Or did you accept it, but you threw it away when they left? Whatever you did, I want you to tell me why you did it. What influences your decision to do it? We have the caller who called in and said, uh, even as a Christian, uh, on Christmas Day, I don't eat any meat because sacrifice something once in once in. You you heard the call, you know. So, what were your personal reasons? What are your personal convictions about these things? We've got Monday, who's Hello, a first time yeah. caller. Uh, Monday, thanks yeah. for calling us. You're live on the show now. Welcome. Yeah. Good up. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for calling. Yeah, uh, Sister Sandra, you are doing a very job, a good job. Eh? Thank you. For the past 10 years, I've been uh, listening. I don't miss uh, Nigerian food. Eh? Mm-hmm. If I don't go to anywhere, even if I'm good, I, I put more on my, my phone. Eh? So, uh, this topic made me to uh, put him up. See, I don't know. I don't know where we're heading to. Is there, is, where are we problem in this country? Is religion. Going to solve our problem. I'm asking uh, the Nigerians: Is the religion, whether you are a Muslim or you are not, you are a Christian or you are, uh, is it going to solve our problem? Because if you look at the people in the National Assembly and the, the government, uh, they, you, there is no pagan there. All of them swear, uh, uh, swear with the uh, Bible or or Quran. So uh, I don't know where we are heading to. 
Let them tell me where we are heading to, whether the religion will solve our problem. Will the religion solve our problem, Monday says. Somebody sent us a message on WhatsApp, says, Peter had a dream where God showed him lizards and other animals and told him, Arise, Peter, kill and eat. And Peter said, Lord, I cannot eat these animals. They are unclean. And God said to him, That which God has called clean, you cannot call unclean. Make of that what you will. All right, gentlemen, thank you for sending that message to us via WhatsApp. We've got a number of WhatsApp messages, my God. All right, uh, dear Sandra, it's sad that we as a people only take things said in the holy books out of context or in isolation. We need to stop this ignorance. If anyone decides not to eat salad meat or Christmas chicken, please give it out to the many people who are hungry out there. There's a lot of hungry people, especially in this COVID-19 season. Uh, the great sin here is throwing food away when there are hungry families out there. May God forgive them. Lukman from Lagos says. We've got Mark in a gege on the line. Mark, how are you? Fine. I'm fine, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, concerning the topic that we are talking about, mm. I came back, I am from a Muslim uh, background. But like what happened on the, on Friday also, like we the Muslim, we do share our food, but some people rejected it. Hmm. But in this our country, let me just say in Nigeria, as uh, one other caller said that a uh, religion in Nigeria is a scam. It's a scam because how can you offer someone food and he rejected it? Because I don't, I don't see something is normal. The person prepared it, and you don't know how the stress that the person has already got go through hmm. and prepare the food for you and come and give you and throw it away. It's, it's not good. It's, we the Nigerian, we should preach a love. Mm. We are not having love in this our in this our country. We are just preaching this one, this one, this one. But as a good uh, Muslim, as a good Christian, we have to show ourselves love. Because like on that on Friday, there's some Muslim, uh, no, sorry, a Christian, uh, my fellow uh, Christian, that would, would do give food, and he rejected it. We say uh, he said no that their religion is practicing. Even some there's some Christian in our compound mm. on Christmas Day. Mm. If his own uh, follow Christian, mm. give them give them food. They will get it. They say uh, in their own uh, religion or in their own size. There there's no call. Uh, they doesn't celebrate uh, Christmas. How do you know? That is the thing that I just want to share on you. Thank Mark, you so thank much. you for calling us. Uh, we've got Keno who says, "I know feet eat salamito, Sandra Wito. Do Christians still sacrifice animals to God? Sacrifices were made to God before Jesus is coming to petition God, but Jesus came to end all with His perfect life. A perfect, a perfect." life was lost by adam so no animal's blood can pay for that jesus christ paid already if i value jesus's sacrifice i will not go back and start make making or eating animal sacrifices tagged as a sacrifice to god all right keno thanks for sending your message in while growing up my parents taught me not to eat the muslim festival meat but i am now a man and i have my own family i've made my own findings as a matter of fact i did a little of islamic studies and i found out that there's nothing like sacrifice about the meat during the last muslim festival i ate a lot of meat as a matter of fact my teeth is still paining me so i don't know why we don't read the bible we just allow religion and fanatics to push us to the world my name is kingsley ifang ichuku i am on the road ifang Thank you so much for sending your message in. Um, we've got, um, I believe it depends on personal conviction. One should not go against his or her beliefs to please neighbors. In addition, you cannot command or demand what I choose to do with the gifts that you have given me. Jesu Leke says. This person has Jesu in their name. All right. Kingsley is on the line. Kingsley is in first attack. Hello, Kingsley. Hi, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your salad? Enjoyable. <laughs> I worked meat until I couldn't work anymore. <laughs> okay. Yes. You know, this 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 um, um attitude of throwing meat away is yeah, to me is sheer hypocrisy. Let me tell you something, Sandra. Mm. This that is pretense, which is even a sin. When they bring the food to your door, tell them at the door you don't want the food. Instead of taking the food in you throw it away, then you see the person, you start laughing with the person. Isn't that hypocrisy? There are Christians in Nigeria that will argue with Jesus on the last day. They will argue with Jesus, just like I was arguing with God. You can see God was telling him to eat. 
arguing with God that 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 meat is unclean. Let me give an example. Mm. I know a man that is a, is a Muslim. He married a, a Christian. Mm. How will they share the food in that family now? <laughs> the lady is a Christian. Man, the man is a Muslim. Will the wife say the meat is, is a sacrifice and will not eat it? <laughs> Let them call an answer because I'm confused here. I have big. I have some friends in Abuja, mm. well educated. They call. They call me over. We go when the salad time comes. I go over there. Big chunks of meat, fried, well fried, barbecued, and everything. Mm. I eat to my satisfaction. Why will I now say I'm be pretending to laugh in their presence? Then at their back, I now throw the food away. Pure hypocrisy. Thank you, Sandra. Thank have you, Kingsley. You too. Have a good evening. You know, I want to talk about that throwing the food. Um, um, you know, part, uh, throwing the food away part. I want to talk about it a bit, right? When I was growing up, eh, throwing food away was the worst, worst sin that you could commit. My parents would not stand for it. They would ask you about all the starving children in the world, people who would give anything for a little of the food that you just trashed. It was considered the worst of bad manners. Till today, my husband would want to throw small food away. I say, think of all the children in IDP camps. Come on, finish that food and then he'll finish it. But apparently it's happening a lot. Apparently adults are doing it from, <laughs> from the people who share their stories on social media. So it tells me that these people feel very strongly about not eating salad food. Because I bet you that most of these people who throw the salamit away, they would never think of doing it with other food. So the question I have to ask is, what do they think is so bad about eating salad food that it's for them worse than throwing food away? Some people will say it's religion. Somebody called me on Monday and said salad ram was sacrificed, right? Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 8 from verse 4. Let me read it to you. It says... As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is none other than God but one. Chapter 5 says, For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many, chapter 6 says, But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom uh, are all things and we in him and one Lord Jesus Christ by whom are all things and we by him so basically what Paul is saying there is that there's only one God so idols don't exist and anything offered to them is meaningless so if as a Christian you don't believe in any other God why do you think that God is alive and that sacrifices to that God have any power and that's if you work on the assumption that the Christian God and the Muslim God are different too. But that's a different conversation. I don't want to start that conversation today. Because we, we see both stories, right? Of Abraham or Ibrahim in the Bible or the Quran, right? But that's a different story. Let's not go there. My main point is, if the Bible itself says eating food offered to other gods is okay, why have some Nigerian Christians decided it is not okay? The whole point of Galatians was Paul saying that the rules laid down by James and Peter in the book of uh, Acts were wrong. Remember, because somebody sent me a message here on WhatsApp and said, um, uh, Acts 21, 25. The entire point of what Paul did in the book of Galatians was to, to rebut that. Sandra, this country is so religious, but they never understand what God is preaching to them, either through the Bible or Quran. I'm a Christian, but Sandra, I have enough ram meat now where I am eating. My name is Femi, and I'm in Ikoi. Femi, thanks for sending your message in. Good evening, Sandra. I remember then, as a Christian, we do not bother to cook on salad days because enough food from our Muslim brothers, likewise our Muslim family friends, don't cook when we celebrate Christmas because we supply them with enough food. So when did that change? When did this new trend begin? Seriously, when did it begin? When, when did everything change? We've got this person who says, when Abraham sacrificed Ram instead of Isaac, did he, Abraham, also share the meat? 
I don't know. I was not there. We're going to have to ask him when we meet him eventually, if there's a somewhere eventually to meet. Sandra, in Nigeria, we start every meeting with a prayer. We tell lies throughout the meeting and we end it with another prayer. Our problem is hypocrisy. Both Christians and Muslims are one of our problems in this country, Victor Inijagun says. Tyra Inaja says, if I hear say I chop ram when I see him, but I know chop ram, oh sorry. If I hear say I know chop ram when I see him, but unfortunately I didn't get any this time around. I think it's sheer ignorance that people don't embrace each other's religion despite promoting tolerance. If you don't want it genuinely, it's fine. But baseless suspicion is just ignorance. Hmm. All right. Sandra, well done. Meat is meat. Foul is foul. Now we just put adjective. World has gone beyond Muslim or Christian. The phones and gadgets that we are using are made by pagans. Okay. I don't know how they feel about being called pagans, but okay. Tony from Oasis says, on the issue of eating salad meat, the Bible... The word of God said, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I reasoned as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. It depends on individuals' understanding of the word of God. Collecting it and throwing it away is another level of sin. Such a person should ask for forgiveness. Tony from Mui, thank you for sending your message in. We have Prince YS on the show. Hello, Prince. Thanks for calling. How are you, my own lady Sandra? I'm very well. That is, you are building the bridge between the two dominant religions. I must appreciate you. We love you, and we we, we, we support you. Hmm. You say you are going to bring God this the topic today, hmm. and you will fulfill your promise. Hmm. You see, so I'm thanking you for this. I when you see Salah celebration, we we support the 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 the, the festival festival of the Sufi promise. You know, hmm. the Holy Prophet uh, Ibrahim, Ali Salat wa Salat, that is Abraham inside the Holy Bible, promised God Almighty. And they are about to fulfill the promise. God now say, hey, you fulfill your promise, don't kill your son anymore. I replace that son with this ram. So that ram, we are killing. I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm a default Muslim. Mm. Don't the Salah period where, where you can't hear my voice because I travel to village, mm. to my village. Mm. On Salah day, I tell them to kill my, my ram. We see it among the neighbors. None of them rejected it. And I know some came later. They want to say, thank you, sir. I wish you back in Lagos in a very grand style. You see, that's how it's supposed to be. Hmm. And for me, on Christmas time, I, I said it in Lagos. Hello? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing you. So, that period, my house jumped with the right and good, uh, 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 what do they call it? Um, remind me now. Sandra. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to remember now. <laughs> no, no, I saw that period. They only keep out, you know. Mm. So I ate it with my family, my children. We ate it. And that is how we're supposed to do in this country. Mm. You know, somebody say, because cancer has come, you, 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 no need of a clean something. But it just can't say, I've not come to annul the law. It means the Old Testament, Testament and New Testament support what you are saying, what I'm saying. So for me, as a Muslim, mm -hmm. so Muslims to reject, and I always accuse them, because the only Quran told us, eh, 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 that is, when you see religion of, a new, eh, of a Christ, if they give you food, mm -hmm. their, their food is, is, is lawful, you can eat it. When my Quran told me this, what's that with them, my Christian brother, who gave me food? The person that received the food, and throw it away, he commits a sin. It is called to, to, today. Many people are hungry. What do you have back on the street? They are looking for anything you get to them. They receive it. You give them food, they're happy about it. What are we talking about? What are we but talking about, Prince Wyatt says? Unfortunately, Prince Wyatt, we're out of time, so I had, to, I had to end that call. But I think we need to um, go back to a place where we are more tolerant of each other, right? We... we, we I don't know if we've gotten less tolerant as a society because I remember when I was younger, um, 
I, I heard it was normal because, I mean, I've never lived in Lagos until 2018. 2018 is the first time I've lived in Lagos. And I didn't used to visit Lagos. When I, whenever I would come to Lagos, it would be to, to leave the country through Lagos, not stay in Lagos. But we heard a lot of stories about Lagos, right? And you heard that, you know, people from both religions would be in the same family. Sometimes a Muslim woman would marry a Christian man or vice versa. It's still happening, by the way. Sometimes a man would marry more than one wife of different religions. One of them Ifa, one of them Christian, one of them Muslim, right? So you'd end up with children in one family and all of them have different faiths. In fact, growing up, eh, people praised Yoruba people for that relaxed attitude towards multi-religious families, multi-religious societies. So I was very taken aback on Monday, on, on um, during uh, Ilea this period, when I was seeing those tweets. I was taken aback when a lot of Lagosians were saying, nah, no greet up another religion food. What are you food, my guy? Food. If food fit cause this kind of begay, what's it going to happen when we begin to talk marriage or raising children? Anyways, congratulations to the young person who played on the show today with uh, Joyce. So uh, your name is Ifanyi um, Ndumanya. Ifanyi Ndumanya played just a minute, one, two questions correctly and um, did good for himself. Congratulations, you are our winner. Uh, you won 10,000 naira on the show today. We've got Let's Talk from Voice of America coming up at 6.30. The news is at 6. I am back on your air tomorrow. We're going to talk about Southern Kaduna killings tomorrow at 5. Make sure you don't miss it. I'll have a few people who live in Kaduna on the show. Tomorrow, 5 o'clock, it happens. But in the meantime, don't miss um, the big three tomorrow when the show resumes. Jimmy Dussu is on air tomorrow um, at uh, 7.30. Don't miss that either. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili on all of my social media platforms. S Ezekwesili. Let's, uh, let's talk, huh? Let's talk. Why don't we? S Ezekwesili everywhere. Those were your hard facts, Lagos. Good night.